third down now, a big chance for a stop. They go on the ground and tripping up and being held short. Petrino, he'll go pass, rolling right, looking, firing, tipped, intercepted, taken away by the Aggies. And this one will be taken up near the 45 and just that quick a turnover. A big turnover, Greg, there's no doubt about it right here. That's Mason's got to let it go a little quicker. You can't hold it that long. A lot of eyeballs are looking at you. And when you look at where you're throwing that long, usually bad things are going to happen. That's exactly what happened there. You watch his eyes right here, staring right where he's throwing, just waiting too long. Guy sunk back underneath, tip ball, beautiful interception. Let's see what the Aggies can do now with good field position. He's like a receiver. And his second chance here on offense. Running right, taken down in the backfield. Shirt year. Yep. In the meantime, here's the injury you spotted earlier on Petrino. He takes a hard hit here. Right on his right on his throwing shoulder. If you watch him right there when he gets up, he's in trouble right there. And I hope that I've seen way too many players with that shoulder hanging down. That's not a good sign. So real challenge now for Idaho. They go to their third string quarterback, the freshman Richardson. He's a different build in many ways than Petrino. A big kid, six foot four. Big rush. Completed to the outside, then ripped away, taken away by the Aggies. That was complete outside to Ananwar, and then ripped away by Shamad Lomax. What these Aggies have done all year long, they're, they're ranked fairly high in the country in interceptions and turnovers. I think they're number one in the conference in number of turnovers, and here's two already. Two turnovers. Third stringer Richardson able to get the first down. Now swings it out to Caden Ellis. The dynamic talent for this. Richardson to throw. Pressure coming. Pulls it down. Stepping up. He's in trouble. He'll be taken down. An inexperienced quarterback bringing pressure. A lot of pressure in his face. New quarterback. That's exactly what most defensive guys would do. And not put the pressure on this young man to make the plays. They go back to Duckworth. And with that, so some freshmen getting pressed into duty here today. Saunders goes the long way around, tries to turn upfield, and he is met by a sea of Aggies. Tenth play of this drive, the longest for the Vandals so far in this game. Richardson hit as he throws, ball pops loose. A scrum for it. Reese had it initially, and now we'll have to wait and see how they unpack it. The Vandals are very lucky here again, bringing corner pressure on the outside. Not a very good block by the tailback ball goes up in the air. You can't see it really good, but you want as a defensive lineman seen that so many times throughout the years. Richardson in trouble, stepping up, hit as he throws, incomplete. A little more comfortable play action, and as we say that, he is taken to the ground. Run pass options where he's looking, run our throw and uh, didn't hand the ball off, looked for the pass. They were in. Play clock about to expire. He gets it off in time. Pressure comes. Richardson throwing on the run, and that'll be shy of the end zone, intended for Ungerer, but it did not even reach the goal line. I'll tell you, if we can re run this one back and to see the green grass that Colton Richardson had to run, he may have scored himself if he'd taken off. Look right here. If you see it, there's nothing there he could have run for. Just didn't get it the first time. Avery Anderson, big number 93. Just engulf the center of your picture for that block. Not taking the college snap. Richardson stepping up, and we'll get it back to the line of scrimmage. The dog move about it to half. Richardson, he's in trouble. That's a sack for the Aggies. Miles Veen. New Orleans. One thing we've known all day long, they are bringing pressure on passing downs, and they, they've brought it again. And again, he'll learn right there. Just flip it out of bounds for two reasons. Number one, don't. He's looking to secure their fifth win on the way to potentially six wins and bowl eligibility to Vandals. All right, let's see if they can keep it going right here. Richardson, defenders coming. He's complete to on and war. And not much there, Shaman Lomax. So many injuries come late in the year. Richardson. Eludes one, won't elude them all, the Aggies. Just there comes your pressure again. 
both guys on the outside. The tailback didn't block very well. The right tackle didn't block very well. A lot of maroon on you. I still think they got a chance to get behind these, these corners on the outside for a big play. Vandals, Richardson on the run, throwing and down here in the fourth quarter. Third and 13, Richardson, pressure, Richardson, taken down and sacked. Comes up huge. There's, this is an inside blitz where they bring both linebackers. The Duckworth does not get back to pick up his guy. That big plays and win this football game. Richardson. Pressure comes again, can't break free, and he'll be taken down. Cedric Wilcott. Pressure's been relentless, that's just all you can say. What a great first game for Colton Richardson with these guys rushing the passer today. Back this year. Third down. Needing a conversion, pressure there again. Richardson eludes a couple, still working free. Now they've got him. Wilcott's Demby. Boy, it's been interesting to see Demby back in the game making some plays now, I'm telling you. There he is, and I believe he'll get credit for the sack right there. That really will, nice play. First down to the ground, and they go to third and short. Richardson to throw, incomplete, sailed it. Intended. He's got to let that go just a little bit quicker, Greg. Held on the ball a little long. Fires this one incomplete off the hands of Onanwar. Here comes the pressure. Richardson steps up, eludes the defenders, twirling. Now he's sacked. Aggies are there. Rush. It's been really, really good. Phenomenal, tell you the truth. Free guy right here. First guy misses a little bit. There's so many maroon shirts. Both linebackers in on the play right there. The Quakers out of his hands, get the quick throws. Second down and two. Pressure coming, Richardson. And that is complete over the middle. Richardson to throw. In trouble, he's sacked. That's a major problem this week. When T. Hanks plays well, we play well. And T. Hanks just made a big stop. Just ran over the running block. Hanks rushed the passer and he got the sack. Richardson now lets it fly downfield. That is tipped up and incomplete. Tried to throw one to Caden Ellis again. There's the pressure. Some Dimdy again. There's right. Oh, he got his hands on that. Nice play by the safety coming over right there. They need a first down. They need a touchdown. Richardson. Rolling right, stepping up, lets it fly, way downfield, incomplete. Flag on the play with six seconds left. Pass interference, defense number 22. Step on everybody. This is a nice throw. There's holding by the left tackle, and he just throws it up. And if we'll watch, he's got him beaten. He just reaches and grabs him from behind. That might have been a touchdown in, the, in, in having it. Last play right here. Six seconds left. Richardson stepping up. Let's it fly, somehow got it off, up for grabs, an easy interception. The Aggies have it. Taken away, they'll take a knee, and this will seal the deal on this one. Jaden Wright, the senior, closes things out, fire the cannons. The Aggies have won this one, and they have the most wins now in the Doug Martin era, and they are one win away from bowl eligibility with a matchup next week against South Alabama. The Aggies take it 17 to 10.